And now the fun part. So it's cake decorating time. So we prepared for you guys uh, two batches of the recipe that we shared. So we have here four um, eight inches cake, approximately like a one and a half inches high. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, we had a chance to um, let them cool and chill a little bit so that it's more firm when we work on it. And as you can see, we've already trimmed it. Trim my cue, trimmed it already. And if you click on the i button up there, it would link you to um, the video that we did wherein we started from the very beginning. Okay, so, um, and these are the whipped ganache. So that's why they are light in color. And we just put them in piping bags for ease. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill, I'm gonna use this one for filling. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that you press it onto the cake so that you see all those tiny, tiny holes in there. You wanna make sure that it's fully, fully covered and filled because if you don't, and then you start stacking all your cakes, which are heavy, and it could cause all those air pockets or air gaps to move to the side. So sometimes you find that even however beautifully you cover your cake, it still has got some bulges. So you don't want that to happen. All right, so after you've done that, it is best to use, um, and what's this? <laughs> and a new palette knife, and then just, even it out and make sure that you put a little bit of pressure okay so um, I've done the last bit now I just wanted to show you this um, this is <laughs> Not yet. This is the part where I trimmed it, but um, I'm going to just flip it over and use this nice and flat, very even surface as my top, okay, rather than the others. So there you go. And as you may know, the next step is... Crumb coating. <laughs> Crumb coating. So this is eight inches, uh, eight by eight now. Lovely. All right, well, we're just gonna speed up the um, next clips because crumb coating is just easy, all right? Okay. And after that, I'm going to use the ganache, which is not um, beaten up, okay? It's not the whipped one, it's just a normal ganache, okay? Look at that consistency. All right, so spreadable consistency, and now I'm just going to apply a little bit onto my cake for my crumb coating. Okay, so after this, okay, when it's crumb coated, you can go ahead and use your scraper plain edge scraper and just give it a good turn to take away all the excess and even out. Okay, so it has been chilled now. Okay, so um, we are now going to layer it with the white ganache, okay, that we've already prepared earlier on. So it is in a nice spreadable consistency. So while we are waiting for our cake 
to set after we put the white ganache. So we are going to do like a ceramic inspired art <laughs> and we, we got inspirations from really wonderful ceramic artists and we, were, we are going to pose and create some of the photos. Yes, amazing, amazing. Beautiful. I know. And we thought since cake is always inspired by fashion and art and everything else, so anything beautiful, so we thought why not wed ceramics? Only you can eat this. Yeah, yummy. Oh my goodness, chocolate overload cake. All right, so um, as you can see from the photos, we are going to do like a three layer kind of color. So that's why there's white and depending on whatever color, yes. but we chose blue and um, we're gonna, final cover would be the, the normal brown ganache. Okay, so. In that case, we needed to tint our ganache. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> okay, so we are going to try to, well, not try, but we're going to color this uh, white ganache with a blue color. So your color must be an old based color, mm -hmm. okay? Because imagine your ganache or chocolate, whatever form that it's has all made of yeah, fat. fat, isn't it? So uh, we highly suggest to look for um, old based colors. So, okay, so basically this is um, our own brand um, but we're still thinking if we're going to come out of it because of the demand but yeah ideally oil based color sometimes it comes in powder form or um, oil like a liquid kind of form yeah. paste form so you are just gonna get a small amount you gotta try first because if it's less color then you can always you know add a bit more so what you wanted to do is just Mix it in one corner first. Make sure that all those tiny, tiny um, bits of powder will be well dissolved. <laughs> so um, basically, when you're done on the on the side, just mix them all together until you get the color that you like. If you wanted to add more color, then you may do so. Paste. Avoid definitely, 100% do not use any liquid form. We tried paste, the concentrated ones like again, your Wilton, our colors, Sugar Flare because we're from the UK and um, they worked okay but you got tiny tiny speckles of um, like a powder. Which but, you can avoid actually. Yes, because they're not really oil based. So they do incorporate, but not as well as obviously where the oil based ones. Are you happy that. with this color or you want it to add a bit more? I think that's okay. Yeah, this is okay. Yes. Okay, well, again, it depends on the intensity intensity of color. Intensity. Intensity. <laughs> <laughs> say intensity 10 times. So it really depends on the intensity of the color that you what wanted did you to. Say? Intensity <laughs> of the color that you wanted to um, apply it onto, okay? So in our case, we like this shape. Yes. Okay. All right. So we can use this to cover, cover the next layer. Yes. So basically, we're gonna just carry on covering it with our blue color ganache and then after that, chill again and then after that, the final cover. All right, so let's do that. Now, um, we are just going to make a simple design. So we've thought of this. I didn't realize you all going to show that. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't matter. It's okay. So basically, you can use a toothpick um, to trace over what your design is so that you know at least where to start carving them. So
So now I'm so excited to start carving it. Now the tool that we're going to use is a very, it's just an improvised one. It's, ta-da! <laughs> it's a floral wire. Um, this one is gauge 20, but I guess um, the thicker uh, is better so that it doesn't bend. So basically we just um, shaped it with a pliers, okay? And you want something like a V towards the tip. All right, so, and hold it right here. Or actually, Valerie, you can just get a ceramic ceramic. Card. I know, I know, but <laughs> I'm just so excited to start doing this. And uh, yeah, the, what's it called? Ceramic carver. Ceramic carver. All right, so. you guys like it because we enjoyed very much um, on exploring that cake. So okay. uh, what can be more exciting and what can be more perfect than adding more chocolate on our <laughs> chocolate ganache cake Yes, and more decorations. Yep, so it's very trendy at the moment, some chocolate sale. Be careful. I know, I can just eat this. These are really dainty and delicate. Yes, so we have pre-made some of them um, a while ago. Okay, but we're still going to show you how to do this, especially this one, it's marbled, it's so it's pretty. pretty. to put everything. practice we just have this theory in our heads that it is going to work yes and we tried it and we said if it fails it fails and you are gonna see <laughs> in all honesty yeah but you know I'm gonna challenge ourselves yeah. to actually do it in buttercream next time I mean I don't we don't have to show you but I think it's just going to be the same process why is it that we don't have to show them maybe we can do it next time actually maybe we can do it and then do something different onto the top 
Okay, well, we hope you guys love this tutorial as much as we I was about to say it. that. I was <laughs> going to say that, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we hope you enjoy it. We really enjoyed doing these for you. Um, and uh, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, everything that you will need will be on the description box below. And we're going to have chocolate cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next three days, probably. Okay, well, see you guys on the next video. See you. Bye. Bye.